What's up everybody? Jesse, Slossy Fishing. Got a good episode for you today. I know that you guys have heard of the inshore slam, which is a trout, redfish, and flounder. Well today, if it's a real thing, I caught a beach slam. Uh, three different good eating species. I'm gonna show you what I was using, what bait, where I was casting, all that good stuff. And then a couple other tips uh, that'll just help you catch more fish out here on the beach. Check it out. All right, this went all the way down the beach. And I don't think the current is strong enough to do that yet. Yeah, this one. First fish of the day, little black, black drum, I'll take it. All right, and that's the green fish bite on the white pill float. There he goes. All right, guys, we've been here for about 30 minutes and I caught that one little black drum. I'm not really digging this spot, so we're gonna move. If you're not catching stuff uh, as fast as you want to, just move. That's why it helps to get the nice cart with the big wheels on it and stuff, because you can move real quick. And I wanted to show you guys this, a way that you can keep your stuff from getting tangled up. And that way you can move even, even faster. So reel in your line, take your sinker off of your coast lock, attach it to one of your eyes, and then hook your fishing hooks together and reel out the slack. And then that'll make it to where while your rods are bouncing in your cart, your hooks aren't flying around and getting stuck on all your other rods and stuff. I got this whiting on the green fish bite white pill float. This is why I've been catching everything on lately. All right, dudes, we got that small black drum. Now I got a whiting. Uh, I moved three times. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I found a nice little cut of deep water. I did catch a hardhead catfish, but right now the tide's about to swing. Once the incoming tide starts rolling in, it's gonna bring in fresh, uh, clear, hopefully good water. Uh, we'll see if that happens, but this is a pretty decent whiting. We're going to put them in the box. Open up the magic bag. I'm fishing with sand fleas now. I raked up some real big ones. So let's see if we can't make that better by using some easy flea fishing strips. And then what I do is I cut a bunch of them at once. And if I end up not using them, uh, they're still fine sitting in this little bait bucket. Even for a day or two, you can still use them. So I'm not wasting this by cutting a bunch. And then if the fishing turns on, then I got a bunch of them ready. And then, We'll put this up and you can see I got a bunch of sand fleas down in here that I raked up and I, I got some really big ones earlier but I threw them out and we're just going to rig this up now with sand flea and sand flea fish bites. If you're a subscriber you know I really like these because this orange color on the bottom it looks like the row when the sand fleas are spawning and uh, fish bites are hyper concentrated so it's more potent than uh, the, the bait itself, which will bring them in. Uh, and I think that this rod beside me might be getting hit. Yeah. It's uh, a, yeah. woo, here we go. See how close he was? <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, 
That's a pompano. That's what I'm trying to catch. That's the one? Yeah. That's a good one too. So you're likely to get more of that. I hope so. If they're running. Right. Yeah, you don't want to lose it. That's a pretty fish too. Yeah, and they're very, very, very good to eat. If you had a way to keep them, I'd let you have them. Oh God, no. We're, I, I, no. We've had, since we've been down here, we've eaten a lot of shrimp, but okay, there you go. Yeah, so he's a keeper. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 12 inch Yeah, 12 and a half. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's a good one. Good for you. <laughs> no, no, we're happy for you. Yeah. Cool. You want a picture? Yeah, I do. You want to hold them? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't even want to eat them. There, perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> great nice talking. talking yeah, y'all yeah, take care. Yeah, see you cool. on the way back. Yeah, enjoy your vacation. Thank you. All right, guys. First keeper pompano of the day. So we got a whiting and a pompano. Uh, for this fish, I threw it up very, very, very close because this uh, this little beach that I'm fishing on has real deep water uh, just right off the shore. It's about waist deep, only like a 10, 15 feet out in the water. So I got my pole spread out. Uh, there's four of them. I got two of them that are pretty long out and then two of them that are pretty short, uh, but they're all at different distances. So now that I know that they're up close like that, I'm gonna start reeling them in and see if I can't catch more up close. But uh, this fish is 12 and a half inches and he's a good fish keeper. So, there you go. All right, this part is kind of violent, so I'm not gonna do it on camera, but I'm gonna explain it to you. Um, to make these fish taste the best, what you wanna do is get your knife and cut through the gills right there, and he'll start bleeding. And then I'm gonna put him in this bucket, and he's gonna swim in there, and that's called bleeding out your fish. And that'll make it to where there's no bloodline in the fish. A lot of that fishy taste uh, that you get is because uh, people aren't bleeding out their fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and we'll see if we can't catch another one. So now we're gonna cast it right back in the same spot. So you can see there's deep water right here. And then where the waves are cresting, that's the sandbar. And that guy that I caught was right in front of it. And then I just had a big hit on it as well. So now we know that they're right around here. Uh, at first we were doing what's called zone fish and trying to find them. Well, I think I found them, so now I'm gonna put all of my rods in that same spot. So I know conventional reels aren't really popular here in the panhandle, but they're really fun. If you are the type that gets frustrated really easy, I wouldn't recommend it. But uh, I can cast this reel way further than my spinning reels. And it's just kind of a challenge. I learned this on the East Coast fishing uh, with a guy named Chip Brundage. He could cast way further than me. So I got one and I've been using it and I'm really liking it. Uh, this is a Accio 656 S-Line on an over the bar 13 fishing rod. He was on here. It's a pretty good one. He might be legal. Let's go see. I'm pretty sure that 14 or 14 to 24. God dang. I'm pretty sure that 14 to 24 is a legal black drum. All right, dudes, it's a 16 inch black drum. This is what uh, we call a puppy drum. See how he's still got the black bars on him? So he's still uh, really good to eat. This is a good eating size. When they get real big, uh, they're, they're not very good to eat. I'm pretty sure you can keep one over slot in Florida, 
but I wouldn't recommend it for two reasons. One, those fish are really old and they're not gonna taste that good and they're usually full of worms. Uh, and then also, the second reason is those big ones are the breeders. Uh, you don't want to take those because they lay drastically more eggs than the smaller ones. But you can see this fish here is pushing 16, 17 inches. So he's in the slot and we're going to keep him. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me today. Let's check out the haul. We got a black drum, pompano, and a whiting. So those are all three really good eating fish. Uh, you can just catch them out here on the beach. I use the same tactics for all three of those fish. It was just set rigs, double dropper rigs, pompano rigs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I got another request, somebody asking me how I tie those rigs. I'm gonna make that video for you really soon. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys learned something out here. Let me know if you guys have got any other requests for videos. I, I really like the comments and uh, it inspires me to make new videos. So uh, let me know what you guys want to see. But uh, yeah, it's a really great day out here. Big takeaways were uh, if you're not catching fish in the spot that you're at, quit wasting your time, pick up your stuff and move. Having one of these big beach carts, not required, but definitely helps you move a lot. I move four times a day and I probably walk two or three miles on the beach. Uh, and then other big takeaway is that zone casting. So I caught that pompano right up in the shallow water. The black drum was on that conventional reel and I threw it way out, like about a hundred yards. And then uh, the whiting uh, was just right in front of the first sandbar. So always when you're out here, stagger out your rods until you figure out where they're at and then try to cast in that same spot and you might be able to pick one or two more out of there, out of that spot. But um, yeah, if you aren't a subscriber, please go ahead and do so and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode.